Let's go to Nico Collins. <laughs> and, and this is one I, I can't wait to talk about because Na- Nico Collins, I was all in on this guy this year. Now, granted, I was never a Nico Collins. Like, I didn't understand the Nico Collins hype until last offseason, you know, at, at his cost. CJ Stroud, like, why not? I, I bought in and he ended up being a league winner for myself and a lot of people. This off, and, and when you when you really watch Nico Collins play, my comp is Andre Johnson. Uh, you know, very similar, you know, in, in the, the Shanahan tree, Andre Johnson played like that, that alpha receiver in it. Nico has the size, he has the attitude. Uh, you know, he's a playmaker, he literally does it all. And, you know, I, I, I never backed off of Nico, even when they brought in digs and all the tank held. Died. And you guys know I was all in on Nico this year and through two games, Nico Collins, you can make a case that he looks like a top three to five receiver in the NFL right now. He looks uncoverable. This is a bare secondary that, you know, I, 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 I respect a little bit. And they do a good job. You know, I don't even know if Diggs did anything last night. Tank Dell was kind of erased. But Nico Collins took this game over, scored the, the I believe, the game's only touchdown. Uh, what do we think about Nico Collins? Because I feel like this guy next year, he's a back-end first-round pick. Yeah, I slept on Nico last year for sure. I totally overlooked him. And that just goes to show you, when you come into the, you know, you, you know, when people are talking about certain guys or whatever, you, you, you don't have a good info on guys, you just can't leave any stone unturned. You got to look into every single freaking guy and make your own decisions. Uh, but this year I didn't really sleep on him. I was, you know, sitting in the second round. You had to take him in the second round, maybe third. And he just seemed like one of the best picks there with the emergence of C.J. Stroud last year and the connection they showed tank Dell, you know, playing uh, a little bit less now with digs, you know, digs coming along. So yeah, Nico looks unbelievable. He's got the side speed combination. He's a good route runner. And like you constantly see Stroud rolling out, you know, you know, extending the play and it's Nico coming back to the ball and him and Nico are just connecting. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Nico, man, he could just have a huge season. If you're a Nico Collins owner, you're, you're so excited. Six, four runs like a four, four. So yeah, I slept on this guy. I'm glad I have a decent amount of shares. Uh, and it looks like lights out uh, and he's running the deep routes. Diggs is still running those short little routes. You know, Dell should have some better games. Again, this was a tough matchup, uh, against the bears, but Nico, he's just like, uh, you know, must start every single week. It's not even close. He's an alpha receiver. Yeah, I mean, Nico, 252 yards on the season. Next best is is Stephon Diggs with 70. Nico's averaging 18, 18 yards a catch. Diggs, seven yards. Dell, to Steve's point, I think Dell's a really nice buy low. He's going to be fine. 11 targets in two games. Like, I don't mind it. But I have, I mean, my spicy take is I think rest of season, I think Nico Collins is, is going to finish ahead of, of Garrett Wilson. Um, I, I just, I, I, I think, I think the situation's better. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's that crazy to, to say that. I, and I think Garrett Wilson's going to be fine too. That, that This is not a knock on Garrett Wilson. It's more of like, where is the respect for Nico, even in dynasty rankings? I mean, D- Nico Collins is not even in the top 10. When you look at most dynasty rankings, you know, I, I don't really understand it. Uh, Nico, like, like Anthony and Steve said, he's an alpha. I mean, 18 yards a catch, like, this is this guy. I mean, the only thing I worry about with this offense is the pass protection, which we saw was an issue last night. Um, you know, so that's the only thing that could get in Nico's way is if is if the if, if Stroud regresses a little bit um, because that pass protection doesn't hold up. But I do think Nico has has a chance to be top five, uh, top no, nah, maybe not top five, top six, top seven, rest of the way. But I do think I'm I may be considering having him uh, as, a, as a higher finish the rest of the way over, over Garrett Wilson. Yeah, Nico last year, 16.2 yards per catch, 18 right now. I don't think that's sustainable, but we already know he's a, he's a big game, you know, a, a big game receiver. Last year, five games over 100 yards. He already has two. Uh, you, you know, we, we are worried about, or at least I was, how much volume he's going to get in this offense. Right now he's dominating targets like Tank Dell, uh, seven and four targets to start the year. He had negative three uh, receiving yards last night, three of 16 rushing. Stefan Diggs, this is what I warned everybody about. If you take away those two receiving touchdowns in week one, 
He has a mediocre stat line, and, and, and yesterday he had that week one stat line minus the touchdowns, six targets exactly like in week one, four for 37. Week one, he was six for 33 and two. So, like, it, it, and the A dot, I, I don't think it got much better. Uh, and, and the yeah, metrics guess, aren't updated yet on Rotowire, but it looks yeah. like his yards per target in week one was 5.5, yesterday 6.2. So, yeah. Yeah, just, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a battle. And Diggs was going, what, third, fourth round. Yeah. So it's going to be a battle between him and Dell for the number two spot. But, again, the Bears' defense, I mean, they just continually stopped the Texans' offense yeah. over and over again. It's just the Bears couldn't score. The Bears had so many chances to win that game. Bears' defense is legit. They are very tough. They got the pass rush. They got the linebackers. They got the secondary. So, yeah, in better matchups, I'm sure Diggs will be better. But Nico, yeah, is definitely the guy. And, you know, that was the question. Should I take Nico in the second, third when I can get Diggs later or Tank Dell later? But, yeah, yeah, you should have took Nico first. So you bring up the Bears – we got to cover it. We have a graphic for it. 